you also know Daniel Youngkin? Yes, ma'am. And did you know their children? Yes, ma'am. Did you know Quentin Fox? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, before we get deeper into this, I want to show you um, what's been marked as State's Exhibit 29. May I approach you? Yes. Ms. McCarter, I'm showing you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 29. Do you recognize this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and without saying what's in it, is it a photograph? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and does it fairly and accurately depict what is in the photograph? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your Honor, at this time, we tender what's been marked as State's Exhibit 29 into evidence, please. Okay, um, Exhibit 29 is admitted without objection. And now that it's in evidence, can you tell us what this is a picture of? <laughs> this is a picture of Quentin when um, I was out. We took him to Red Lobster to eat. So, in this photograph, he was out with you. Yes. Okay. Um, Your Honor, may I publish this to the jury? I'm just going to do it old school. Okay. And we will have the correct version. And if the court um, is following the tendency that I've seen in the circuit recently, we may, in fact, read three quarters of the jury instructions, see them before we bring them, even begin our closing remarks. I think it's premature and, and problematic to do Mr. Carter, how did you first um, become acquainted with the defendant and Daniel? Through a church lady that went to church with us for many years. Okay, and who, who was the church lady? What was her? Sandra Howell. Okay. And was she related to them in some way? Um, she was the sister of Billy Joe's husband. Okay. So that would be, she was the sister of the defendant's stepfather? Yes. Okay. And did she introduce you? I did not have the opportunity this morning. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. And what was the purpose of her introducing you to them? Um, she had been keeping the children and her knee got real bad. So she